wrestling fans, welcome to this week's edition of Superstars of the Ring. I am your host, Eric Snook. We have a big episode planned for you this week, but first we'd like to address the video that Dante Steele sent us uh, a little while back. Um, caused a lot of uproar here in CCW, both internally and from our fans. Uh, one of the most disturbing things we've ever seen, and uh, on behalf of CCW, we'd like to apologize for the words of Dante Steele. Now, speaking of the Society of Sin, our match of the week features one of their performers by the name of Marcus James. He's one half of the tag team champions, and recently he had a match with one of the most exciting newcomers we've ever seen in CCW, the powerful Jackson Castle. It was a one-on-one -on -one match, which is not really Marcus James' forte. However, it turned into a bit of a free-for-all at the end. A very interesting ending to this match. But without further ado, let's take you away to this week's match of the week. Marcus James taking on Jackson Castle. Jackson Castle! And here, guys, we're going to see the newcomer, Jackson Castle. As he makes his way to the ring, squaring off one half of the tag team champions, Marcus James. Even though this is a singles match, it may as well be a handicap match because the Society of Sin, if there's one in the ring, you always have to keep a lookout for the other two. But Jackson Castle has proven himself to be one of the most exciting new superstars here in CCW today. One of the most powerful men and beloved by the CCW fans, but he's gonna have to turn his focus, turn his attention to the man that's already in the ring, Marcus James. See Toxic on the far side of the ring there, just lurking with that dangerous chain around his neck. This match is about to get underway. And you hear the bell. Marcus James and Toxic, of course, the co-holders of the 2016 Rookie of the Year title. You gotta believe Jackson Castle is gonna be in line. At least a top prospect in getting 2017's Rookie of the Year title. Right now, Marcus James got him pushed up against the corner. Throws the forearm against the chest. Jackson Castle did appreciate that very much. Another tie up in the middle of the ring. Of course, now the Society of Sin. All the members have gold around their waist. A great arm drag there by Jackson Castle. And another one. And a drop kick. Showing the agility. The big man's got some agility. And Marcus James goes to the outside of the ring. And there's Toxic lurking there. These two men are the tag team champions in CCW. And of course, they are led by the Southern States champion, Dante Steele. Right now, Marcus James. Not very much of a singles competitor. Usually we see him in the tag team matches. Going one on one against the powerful Jackson Castle. New territory for Marcus James. Finally making his way back into the ring. Ready to get this match restarted again. Once again, Marcus James coming up with the advantage. The side headlock on Jackson Castle. Castle breaks out of it, whips him into the ropes. Leaps 
Frog showing that agility, that athleticism, and a hip toss. Jackson Castle looking unstoppable. Showing off the power. Marcus James almost 300 pounds and Jackson Castle curling him like he's nothing and then just slamming him. Like a sack of potatoes just throwing him to the ground. Jackson Castle may be the most powerful force here in CCW today. With only a handful of matches under his belt. But already starting to look like a veteran. Making Marcus James. Look like a little guy, and Marcus James again is one of the biggest guys here in CCW today. Tie up once again. Looks like a rake of the eyes. A kick to the gut. Marcus James will let the game advantage. There's Toxic. Distracting the referee. Trying to create some confusion. Just a two count. Society of Sin doing what they can to cause chaos. It's what they're best known for. And it almost paid off for them as Marcus Jones almost got the pinfall from Castle. This could be it, the pump and the slam. Look at that power, he just takes him down. One, two, three. And despite the best efforts in the society of sin, Jackson Castle able to get the win over Marcus James. And now Toxic with a dirty move, taking out the leg of Jackson Castle. And this is what we see the most out of society of sin. A blind side of Jackson Castle. Taking out the D. And here comes the double team. Marcus Jean finally makes his way to his feet. And a wishbone tearing at the groin. And the ligaments from Jackson Castle. And I see Toxic wrapping that chain wrap to really use it. Absolutely devastating attack after the match it's won by Jackson Castle, but Society of Sin once again using their evil tactics. And here comes help now, Kikina Palomalo and legendary Chris Turner come to the aid of Jackson Castle. You can bet this feud between Chris Turner and the Society of Sin is far from over as he comes to the aid with Vino Palomaro to help Jackson Castle. Wrestling fans, there we saw Jackson Castle getting the victory over Marcus James. However, you saw at the end of that match, Toxic and Marcus James double teaming Jackson Castle. But who came to the aid of Jackson Castle? We saw it was Kikino Palomalu and the Society of Sin's number one enemy, the legendary Chris Turner. You've got to believe that that feud between Chris Turner and SOS is nowhere near over. And we were looking forward to hearing perhaps from Chris Turner, in the next few weeks at some point to get his thoughts on Society of Sin. Now last week here on C CCW Superstars of the Ring, we debuted a very new, interesting segment. 
the Frankie Moore Show, uh, Frankly with Frankie. And, uh, well, this week he, he sent us another video. Um, it, I think he's starting to lose it a little bit, but without further ado, let's take you away to Frankie Moore's and Frankly with Frankie. Welcome back, wrestling fans. Frankie Morris uh, apparently has it out for the silent film star, Donnie Bronson. Uh, they've feuded in the past. They've had some excellent matches, and uh, I guess Donnie just gets under his skin. Maybe Frankie's a little upset that Donnie Bronson won that Stampede Battle Royal and got a shot at the heavyweight champion, Jamie McKinnon, whereas Frankie has never gotten a shot at the CCW heavyweight championship. Frankie, uh, like I said, I think I think he's starting to lose it just a little bit, becoming a little uh, obsessive with the silent film star Donnie Bronson. Now, we are on the heels just a couple of months away from the biggest event of the year in CCW. We are just around the corner from Wrestle Bash, so the CCW production team has put together a little video package to close out the show with. So without further ado, Enjoy this video package to get us all hyped up and excited about Wrestle Bash 2017, and we'll see you guys next week here on Superstars of the Ring. 